Is it time to pull the plug on Dave Chappelle or, you know, Alicia, you know, this is your story. You're a comedian and you just was hanging out with Dave Chappelle yesterday. So. Yeah. Um, first of all, he falls on the category of comedian and a, a comedian's job is to test the waters, go to the edge, go to the line, cross it, make people think and not get everybody's not going to agree with you. That's not even why we get on stage. We don't get on stage to make 100 percent of the people think the way we think. We get on the stage to tell you our point of view. And if you don't like what Dave Chappelle does, which you absolutely don't have to, don't support him. But don't cancel him because there's a lot of people who actually love what he does. There's comics that are on stage with the whole racist fan base. I, I, I'm not saying, oh, cancel this person. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm not going to listen to him. But the racist should be able to listen to this guy or girl. So, um, <laughs> so, so I'm not for telling people who they can and cannot listen to or who they can and cannot enjoy. And Dave Chappelle has a lot of fans who actually agree with him, whether they're right or wrong. And they enjoy what he does. And, you know, he's not going to stop. He's not going to change his mind. He said what he said. And, um, you know, the thing about comedy is you're supposed to get your cluster of people that rock with you, your little group, and ride off into the sunset with that little group. You're not, everybody's not going to rock with you. And even as, as much as Dave Chappelle, as much success as he's had, everybody doesn't rock with him. And he's fine with that. Alicia? Oh, I completely agree Alicia, with everything. Alicia, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Did Alicia tell y'all she got banned off of Twitter? No, <laughs> 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 it, 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 it was Facebook. Yeah, they she, banned me for like, seven just days. Like Donald Trump, she got she got suspended off Twitter <laughs> for seven days, and I didn't even do that much. I was like, "Now y'all, you called somebody a bitch, didn't you?" Yeah, but that well, everybody gets <laughs> called a bitch. <laughs> the, uh, calling somebody a bitch is an opinion. Like, I didn't tell him to go kill himself or, you know, I didn't say that. That didn't incite violence. Yeah, I didn't storm the Capitol. And I'm suspended for seven days. Can y'all believe that? I got stuff to say. Pfizer's one of the leading vaccine companies, and they've announced a COVID antiviral pill. Will it encourage more people to jump on board? Alicia. Uh, well, that sounds like the COVID uh, morning after pill. This is great. I'm going to keep me a whole <laughs> box of them suckers. Because you never know when you're going to need them. I think it's a great idea. I think it also makes people a little calm because everybody's just so uptight about this COVID thing, especially the anti-vaxxers. So I think it's a great idea. Anything that could possibly help is a good idea. And I would take it if I felt like I had symptoms and, and it was available to me. Sesame Street has introduced two new Black Muppets. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> <laughs> Through MLK <laughs> Boulevard, apparently. <laughs> you know, we didn't ask why Big Bird was big. You know what I'm saying? He just big. So Ursula O says, where are the fat people on Sesame Street? And, and eating sesame seeds will make you test positive on a random drug test. I, I don't have no idea what what that means. Thank you yeah, they so that ass no fat person on <laughs> Sesame Street. Why are you fat? Why are you gonna break loose? Let's leave it alone. Let's leave this thing alone. <laughs> Let's leave it alone. Yeah. Alicia, you are a fool. <laughs> Didn't they have that mammoth character? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had the woolly mammoth. Character? They did. Yeah. Come on. The popular free stock trading app Robinhood is receiving criticism after blocking retail traders from purchasing GameStop, AMC, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, BlackBerry uh, as prices skyrocketed. What they did is they lifted the veil on our so-called free market. It's really not free, is it? It's mm, free, no. rich, and expensive for the poor. Exactly. Yeah. That's, it, it's, it's not, that's not Robin Hood. That's good Robin. <laughs> and and this, this let us know what's really going on. I'm going to keep my $18 right in my damn account. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you say, well, what exactly does defund the police mean? I'm interested in that. I want to know how I can support it if it's something I believe in. Can you but the, 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 the people who have a problem with it, they feel like the police are their friends. The police are here to protect us. The police are good people. They know what we're really saying. And why would anybody say after police if there wasn't an issue? You've never heard anybody say after firefighters.
And on that note, we're going to take a break. Woo! Will Harriet Tubman's image on the new $20 bill reflect the history and diversity of this country? Or will it just, <laughs> will it just enrage QAnon even more? Well, I'm just excited. I mean, I saw the, the picture, whoever the artist was, they drew a great picture of her. Harriet looking good. She got on a new pinafore. Harriet is ready. You hear me? And uh, like a good friend of mine named Travis said, he said, it's hard to deny uh, racism when you got slavery in your pocket. So I'm, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there looking forward to that $20 dollar bill doing the busted challenge. Huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let me tell you something. But this is the messed up thing, Tammy. Them racist people and them QAnon people, when they go get their change and it's a 20, they're like, give me two tens or four fives. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to let you get them a $20 damn They ain't going to take that $20 bill. Yeah, they ain't going to take it. You got two tens, oh, racist assholes. But that's okay, because I'm going to get the whole 20. <laughs> the Dominion voting systems filed a lawsuit against Rudy Giuliani for more than $1.3 billion. The, the, pal, the attorney, yeah. The the attorney. Attorney. Yeah, they're going after her too, and rightfully so. And what's so ridiculous is they just say anything. They throw anything up in the air. The Dominion machines in the towns that he was complaining about, he won overall. He, he had the majority of the votes. So they're just saying out any kind of crazy stuff to try to get the less informed to go along with them. And I'm glad that they're suing him. I, I'm glad they're suing him, suing personally, bankrupt him, bankrupt Sidney Powell. This is the only way you're gonna make this madness stop is by holding these people accountable. They knew that they were lying when they said that about the Dominion machines. And that's, they're tarnishing these people's brands and there was nothing wrong with their machines. And I understand that's, imagine somebody tanking your business over some BS. Donald Trump lost, period, point blank, move on. But I'm so glad they're suing him and I can't wait to see what the outcome is. Maybe this will shut him up for once and for all. And he's getting sued and didn't even get paid from Trump. This is this is this is classic. Yeah, is. Alicia, if Joe Biden called you tonight and said, hey, Alicia, I need you to pick my cabinet. Who, who do you think? Who who would be on? Who would you send to Joe? He ain't gonna want me to pick his cabinet because I'm picking all the wrong people. You know, I'm, I'm like, we sending Nene leaks down here. She's gonna be the head of hood. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm sending, I'm sending all the wrong people down. You know, because I'm, I'm for the entertainment. And I mean, Donald Trump showed us you ain't got to pick nobody qualified. No. You know, he just picked people that donated to his campaign, and then was putting half the people in wrong positions. Why was Ben Carson the head of hood instead of HHS? Like, he just didn't care. He just threw people threw stuff up against the wall and let it stick. So Joe Biden, anybody he picks is going to be better than a Trump pick because they're actually going to be qualified. So if he called me, yeah, I'm, I'm, he ain't going to want my picks. So my picks going to be like, yeah, why don't you let um LeBron James <laughs> let him be the head of uh, education. Uh, uh, LeBron yeah, James education. could be the head of yeah. education since he has yeah, his he own school. he got his own school. You yeah. know, so I'm just, yeah, I'm just picking my buddies. You know, I'm picking people I like. You know, I'm like, Kevin Hart, don't you got a, a laughter department, a, a laughter, the interior of the laughter? Look, I don't even know what the cabinets are. But yeah, I, I, but I think Joe got this. I think Joe has this. He's been around for, what, 40-something years? He knows all the players. Well, I'm just glad that Dr. Fauci has his color back. He's saying stuff with his chest. You know, this man is so happy. He's like, woo, we can listen to science again. You know, I mean, he just looks so, we don't know where Dr. Burks is. I think she hung herself with one of them scarves or something because she had to sit there that day when that man told the country to drink bleach. She ain't been right since. But Dr. Fauci is just happy. He's happy his boss is sane and he's...